Halal butcher Radar Haruni feels his beliefs are on the chopping block. And he says his customers are worried about a proposed ban on the religious slaughter of animals that haven't been stunned beforehand. It's not just Muslims, but the Jewish community as well. You don't feel at home anymore. It feels like we're being punished. Dutch slaughterhouses that want to continue traditional halal and kosher practices will have to prove their process of slitting the animal's throat when it hasn't been stunned is humane. But the question is how do you prove it was killed humanely when both sides of the argument say the science backs them? The party for the animals is behind the bill. They stay conscious for um, up to five minutes. They lose a lot of blood, so they can choke in their own blood. And the cut should be one time. But uh, research shows that with uh, kosher slaughter it takes on average 3.5 times and with halal 5.5 times. A deer. With halal, the animal can't be stressed. It can't see other animals being killed. It is humane. The knife must be very sharp and it must be killed with one stroke. At this kosher store, some products would have to go. Jewish community leaders feel animal rights are being put before human rights. They call it, uh, first of all, ritual slaughtering, as we're doing some kind of voodoo or something. We don't do rituals. It's our religion we are practicing. And... Um, and expressing religion in our modern Dutch society is not a thing which is um, appealing to, to, the, to the public. But if the ban is imposed, there's a modern solution. Buying imported kosher and halal meat. More expensive, but it would be the only alternative, other than vegetarianism or giving up hundreds of years of religious tradition. Tanya Page, Al Jazeera, Amsterdam.